Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Summer House, Martha's Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 3. Listen, I need y'all to subscribe, like, share, comment. Blair, you ready to walk us through this? I'm ready. Let's walk. We start where we left off before mm-hmm. with Nick checking in with Jordan in summer mm-hmm. about the comment about him being uh, a little bit too physical when he gets a little drunk. You keep touching me. <laughs> so Jordan and summer pretty much tell him you just get a little handsy. Just a little bit. Nick thinks it's weird that they wouldn't tell him how they felt because they're supposed to be good friends. Mm-hmm. Um, but he doesn't have any nefarious intent. Um, but he does respect how they feel. They clarify they don't think he's a creep. Um, but pretty much just relax with the touching. Keep okay? your hands in your pockets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and in the confessional, Jordan says that she wouldn't want her man to be as handsy with other people the way mm-hmm. that Nick is. I think what happened is, correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't finished the first season. Mm-hmm. Um, did Nick at any point share that he, I think I think it did happen. Did, at, at any point did he share that he had a crush on Jordan or something like that, or that he was interested in Jordan? Um, I think, yeah. Because I think it was he in the DMs or something. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a couple of things. He said it in the confessional. I think mm-hmm. he, around the guys, like, he agreed with them that Jordan was, you know, a looker. And then also he was kind of flirting with the girls before they went out there. When he got there, he didn't let them know he had a girlfriend until she was about to come. Okay, so, so see, okay, mm-hmm. so this is season one. So what happened is, this is what usually what happens, right? If a woman feels like you already like them, Mm -hmm. right they are looking for what's the word any clues that you don't respect your relationship let's start with the biggest clue nick you didn't tell anybody you was in a relationship until she was at the doorstep pretty much you know what i'm saying now they are over here with think pieces saying i don't think nick is happy in his relationship Mm -hmm. i don't think nick like his girl and things of that nature because he keeps touching me Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying because you already set the stage that like you're kind of sneaky mm-hmm. so in a way they don't want to call you a creep but they but like you're sneaky though yeah they just think you're moving funny yeah so mm-hmm. so that so but i'm like that's something that you put on yourself from f- the first season carrying on now yeah you know what i'm saying because they saying is jordan specifically hey if i was in a relationship i wouldn't be this way mm-hmm. hey for one you would know i'm in a relationship before they on the doorstep and things like that and I wouldn't be handsy. I do feel like Nick is not being a creep, but there is something sneaky to like, you know, you're in a committed relationship, man. Like do what Amir did. I'm not comparing him to, but Amir went away and got on the phone with his girl and things like that. Mm-hmm. Based on what we've seen. Yeah. You know? So I'm like But Nick, you can tell he's excited by the women. He thinks they're beautiful. I, like, I like it. Like he he engages in a way to where even the women on the show are just kind of like, mm, mm, a he's funny. a little too, he's a little, a little too interested, a little too loose. Right. right? Mm-hmm. I think what Nick does um, is he's he's going to be the one, in my opinion, that's like, hey, I I didn't do it. They did it to me. So he kind of like alludes to it, like, hey, how about we like you know hug, touch, and things like that. And but. Every time they tell him no, he's like, okay, cool. But what if they tell him yes? Is he going to stop it? Mm. So that's why I'm like, it's just best if you just keep your hands to yourself, brother. Yeah. And also, I agree with Nick in the sense that if we're supposed to be friends, like, y'all can just talk to me. But I think that's the whole thing with Summer and Jordan being mean girls low key mm. is girls like that, they really don't want to resolve. They just want to talk mess. Oh, <laughs> so Jordan is something you can. Even though they said, like, oh, yeah, we'll get around to talking to Nick. Like, Preston is the one who brought it up so that there was way there was an actual resolve. But I think they just wanted to have something to talk about. So some to talk trash. And mean girls. That's that's what I got from you. Mm-hmm. That's what you believe. Because in. if it was really an issue, um, not to say it wasn't, but if but they should have talked to him. If that's your friend, just be like, hey, bro, appreciate you, but chill, mm-hmm. you know. But I just think that they like to gossip about people, and they were gossiping about Nick. Mm, true. So. Well, they're getting ready for the party. Um, this is Shanice's night to host, so she's throwing a big phone party in the pool, big party bash. Anything to get us naked, man. <laughs> so Shanice is on the phone with her mom. She explains the uh, situation about the game and how Summer said she was dressing bad. Mm-hmm. Mom says that basically she needs to learn to support her friends talking about Summer mm-hmm. and to not knock each other when each other's down. But mom also used some other explicitives of like, you know, you can beat her up and all this other stuff. I love 
love it. <laughs> I love it because she was like, wait a minute, is that supposed to be your friend? Uh huh. She was like, if that would be, I, I fight her. I knock her out because it is strange. Now that I watched the recap again, I'm like, why did you, why did you like say my name? You didn't have to say anything. You didn't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. But it goes back to maybe she's taking on that mean girl role to where, because she kind of said it in a suggestive way, like Shanice. Yeah. Okay, like so. and wanting people to laugh exactly, and, and, and then it stuff. is there is something to um when Shanice ran off and things of that after her blow up, you didn't go up and check up on her. No, you get what I'm saying. Bria had to go up there with Milo, mm-hmm. you know. So Nick comes down and he's talking to Preston, just kind of filling him in on the conversation with the girls. Mm-hmm. And he thanks Preston for his honesty. And he says, you know, they were cool about it. They don't feel like uh, like really uncomfortable, but they just want me to chill out a little bit. Um, but Nick doesn't want anybody to feel uncomfortable around him. And mm-hmm. that's the part that kind of hurt his feelings because he doesn't want anybody to not feel like they can be around him. You know, Hey, listen here, mm-hmm. I understand that. And I can relate to you in, in that sense. Of you don't want nobody to be uncomfortable around you. Where I don't relate is you got to contribute to that too, brother. Yeah, and I think he knows. Yeah, now, now that it's been presented yeah, to him, like, he knows. Like, like you have to contribute mm-hmm. to it too. You got to, in order to have, in order to have people feel comfortable around you, you have to make them comfortable around you. you yeah, know what I'm saying. Well, no- Noelle is talking to Alex, and she's asking him how his shoulders doing. Oh my goodness! And she's talking about how they're matching, and so just a little flirting. And Alex thinks that Noelle seems fun, and he really likes her southern accent. Mm-hmm. Boy, they like Alex, boy. <laughs> so they're out back they're on slip and slides drinking they're mm-hmm. in the pool Shanice goes down to slip and slide naked of course um, they uh, play some games and so a couple of Shanice's friends show up mm-hmm. so Hendrix uh, and his friend are there Mm -hmm. and Hendrix and Noel are connecting. Uh She is putting foam on his body. Mm -hmm. Noel and Hendrix um, even eat a cupcake together and Alex is looking disgusted the whole time. (laughs) I think it was Hendrix's birthday or something like that. Yeah, that's his birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, Alex. So Alex is talking to Noel um, after things kind of die down a little bit Uh and saying that she has good vibes. Um, He was dating someone this summer, but he really wanted to focus his energy, like not in a relationship. I I have to recharge so I can go out and spread my seed everywhere else. You get what I'm saying? (laughs) Pretty much. So um, half of the folks go out to the club Uh and um, the other group, they stay in for the night. Okay. So, and just to note that while the, and this is why they was having these fights last year about Milo, because Bria, you over here going to the club late at night and Milo has to use the bathroom Mm. and Jasmine is over here cleaning up Milo's poop. (laughs) Now, Jasmine didn't mind. And honestly, if it was me, I wouldn't mind either. That's my friend. Like I'm at the house. I'll take care of it. But, but that's how people get upset when they don't know you or they're not your friend like that. They'll be like, why this girl going out at night when she knows she got a dog? I would say, you know? I thought this was your emotional support animal. Right. Why you ain't take him with you? Take the dog with you to the club. Put some earmuffs on him and dance with him. Okay. Right. So the next day, Amir, Preston, and Nick are cleaning up. Uh-huh. Jordan comes into Sharice, Shanice's room. Uh-oh. Jordan asks if she talked to Summer yet. Uh-huh. And uh, Jordan explains that she doesn't think Summer's intentions are bad. Of course you don't think so, Jordan. Jordan explains that she actually had to cuss Summer out. At one point, because she was just doing a lot. She was making out in front of the apartment building. And Jordan, you know, I guess lives in a nice place and she didn't want people judging her or her guests. So she cussed her out to be like, girl, get some act right. Okay. (laughs) I feel like, do Jordan got any, and you can help me learn about Jordan a little bit. Because I'm learning about Jordan a little bit in season one right now. Do Jordan talk? Without cussing somebody out, <laughs> <laughs> I think Jordan can go from zero to a hundred real quick. Cause I'm like, this- I think there's not. I I think that um, it doesn't take a lot for Jordan to get to that point. Mm. I think if Jordan feels the way, she's gonna express it. So, but I'm your friend. Why are you cussing at me? Like, just <laughs> just tell me, hey, don't do this in front of my apartment building or something. You know? Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah, uh, Noelle was talking about how um, when they were out at the club, Hendrix wanted her to be up all on him, but mm-hmm. she's not like that. Um, Amir says that Alex is interested in Noelle. This mm-hmm. is when they're in the car getting ready to go grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. And Noelle is saying that she's single and ready to mingle. Oh, so mm-hmm. in a way, Noelle kind of be like, you know what? I'm saving myself for someone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, if you're single, ready to mingle, Hendrix is right there. Exactly. But no, I'm saving myself for someone. Someone who who's vegan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Right. So she, uh, Noelle asked them how they would feel pretty much if they were in her situation with Summer. Mm. And Preston said, y'all can exchange D stories. Summer okay. don't care. Mm-hmm. It's not that big a deal. Mm. I don't know about that. Back at the house, Jasmine tells Jordan uh, and Summer that Mariah's coming. Uh oh. Summer wants Phil to come. Mm. Jordan and Summer do not want Phil to come. Mm-hmm. I do not want Phil to come. Phil I, is not a good time. Blair had, Blair had to teach me who <laughs> Phil, Phil was. Phil is a menace. Yeah, I had to learn who Phil was. I don't want Phil to come either. Right. Uh, Amir, Preston, Noel, Bria, and Milo, they are all grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. And Noel also got a meal to surprise Alex with. Uh-oh. She came back from the grocery store with gifts? Yes. So when she presents the meal to him, um, Summer flicked her head back so fast, mm-hmm. I was surprised she wasn't about to get whiplash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so she saw that and she wasn't really too fond of it. The funny thing about it is even Alex wasn't fond of it, but he still took it. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm not really like this type of tofu guy, but I, but you know, I eat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Summer was, she had her head around a little bit, kind of like, you know, like what, what's going on? Yeah. How, like you only brought Alex something back personally. Mm-hmm. You ain't bringing nobody. Okay. I see. <laughs> well, Jasmine calls a house meeting. Okay. Jasmine. They discuss guests. Mm hmm folks we want to invite to the house and she asks everyone first about how do they feel about phil coming yeah amir says he shouldn't come he pooped in nick's toilet left it there for nick to flush it yeah he just disrespected all the guys um preston says absolutely not we see a flashback of uh what's his name uh phil with a rifle talking about don't be soft talking to preston Mm. and the guys give a clear no um, Bria said, well, it's not like he physically assaulted anyone um, and he's going to be up here with his friends anyway. It's not like he's going to stay at the house. And pretty much she said in the confessional, if words bother you, you need to let grow up. Your thoughts? Um, no, Phil is a hole. Like, no, we're all having a good time. We got good vibes. We're all feeling like a good friend group. We don't need this angry man mm-hmm. <laughs> to come up here and poop in our toilets and pee on the ground. Like, he's just disgusting. I'm about to say, you you talk about words. He pooped in my toilet. Right. You get what I'm saying? Um, I don't want Phil to be there because my thing is, if he makes everybody uncomfortable, so you just want Phil there so you can feel good, but everybody else uncomfortable? Mm-hmm. Like, like that's kind of like... It gives little sister energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It it gives you you haven't been here long enough on the world to actually like know how the world operates. It's like if someone's coming to put a damper on the mood of the whole house, you don't bring them to the house. Right. It's just that plain and simple. Jasmine asks about Mariah. Now this is where it gets tricky. Everyone is pretty much like, yeah, Mariah's cool. She can come. Uh (laughs) Bria takes Milo and gets up and leaves. I think Milo would have sat there and been cool with it, too, Mm -hmm. if it wasn't for his owner. And that's the thing about it. (laughs) I think that's where, you know, the little sister energy come in. Like, how do I think she would have accepted the fact that, okay, you don't want Phil to come. Phil's not coming. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. How come Mariah get to come when I was assaulted with these laundry with Milo's hair on it? You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So she got up and she was like, I can't take it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, this what this what you was talking about, Blair, what Bria does. She gets up, walks away, and that's when Preston jokes around and say, oh, are, are you going to be in the room all day and stuff like that? Like, oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. So, Jasmine explains to them that Mariah has good intentions. Mm-hmm. Bria, she didn't storm all the way off. She was just in the kitchen. Yeah. And she said that she really doesn't mind. She's pretty much over it. And Amir mm-hmm. says that he doesn't mind. He won't be doing any laundry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Shanice and Bria call Phil Mm -hmm. and they explain to him that everyone had strong feelings, especially Preston, Mm -hmm. um, about him not coming. And Phil says that he's grown since then. Mm. Whatever. We don't care. But the the funny thing about it is Mm -hmm. he talked about he grown since then a year later or or like however long. Mm -hmm. Days after the uh, first offense happened, he said, F all of y'all. Yeah. I'm like, okay, like, why would I want to? Like, why does it seem like you grown when you want something? Mm -hmm. When you want to come and chill with us? It's like, nah, man. You had all year to touch base with people individually. You could apologize to Nick individually because you knew they were going to get a season two. So you could reach out and be like, you know what, man? I'm willing to do it on camera, but privately, I'm sorry for being an a-hole. But this is the first time we heard of you, Phil. So no, you're not going to come back because the last impression I got, you said F me. Yeah. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Phil said that Mariah was going to pop up there. She'll be there on the first. Uh-oh. And he was planning on meeting up with her when she came. So now Bria's feeling played because Mariah was going to come to the house regardless of the house meeting and how she felt. 
Yeah, because she's like, hold on, how how would she go come anyway? We just had that house meeting. Mm-hmm. Say if she could come. She was like, yeah, the ticket's already good. Like, like the ticket's good. Like, she's coming. Yeah. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like this next scene. I really do. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a small scene, but it's an important scene to me. So everyone is getting ready for dinner. Mm-hmm. Jordan is in the bathroom crying. Her hair is falling out. Yeah. We learned last episode that she has alopecia. Mm -hmm. She doesn't feel like herself. She's really not getting the hang of these wigs. Um, Before they were an option. Now they're a necessity. Um, She's telling Summer that she's going to try to soldier through and get through it, though. What was your thoughts? I felt bad for her because, no, that is really hard to be losing your hair. And especially for Jordan... It appears she put a lot of stock in her beauty with her working at Playboy and talking about she was like the fourth or the last black cover model or something in Playboy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for that to be something that you really value is your beauty. And part of that is your hair, Mm -hmm. especially as a black woman um, for our hair. I was just like, dang, like this is tough. And and it's going to be a tough time for her to navigate. So I like the transparency. Mm -hmm. I like um, even though she wasn't in the camera at the moment where she was crying and things like that, she was, um, she talked about it with her, uh, with her father mm-hmm. last episode. And I like the fact that she's bringing attention to it that, um, cause, cause we see her with the wigs and she said, you know, back in the day, it's different to wear a wig just for style, but now to wear it for necessity is very different. Cause growing up, I thought wigs were for old people. Mm-hmm. I didn't know or maybe the wig industry changed while I was growing up and like once I got to my teens and things like that to where it's like, oh no, young people wear wigs. But now she's like, it's one thing to wear a wig just for style, just for convenience, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But now you have to wear wigs because there's patches on your head. So, you know, prayers to her. Hopefully uh, she come to peace with that. And, and and hopefully like it just works out for her in some in some ways. But I thought there was another scene where Preston was crying too. Yeah, Preston was crying. Yeah, um, that was important to me. Yeah, Preston was crying. And that's when we saw the flashback of um, Phil calling himself. He says, I know what these words mean. I'm a yeah. gay man. I'm the only gay man in this house. The reason why yeah. that's important to me mm-hmm. because he didn't cry to the women. Mm-hmm. It's important that we see representation, right? Of a heterosexual man being cool with a homosexual man, right? And the fact that he felt comfortable enough to show his emotions to Amir. Mind you, Amir, he's cooking on the grill. Yeah. Something that people say that's very manly to do. But the fact that he felt open enough to go to Amir, and he goes to Amir a lot because it reminds me of that scene where Amir was like, hey, bro, how are like you really doing with your father? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and he was genuinely yeah, checking it, it's on so, it, It's mm-hmm. something about that that's beautiful to watch. Because it lets me know that, oh, I don't have to indulge in your life or to partake in what you partake in to see the human side of you. Exactly. You, do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and what will happen is Preston will come and he feels open enough to cry. And this wasn't like no, like, like fake cry. Like he's almost blubbering. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because he feels bullied. He knows what it, it takes him back. It triggers him back. And the fact that Amir was actually mature enough and open enough to listen to him. And you realize in that moment, he didn't use that moment to be like, oh, it's okay. Toughen up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He listened to He him. just listened. He didn't even offer any advice. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you just got to listen and just let it go. I really did like that scene a lot. Because it brought me back to when he really asked him when no one else was around. Because mm-hmm. you you can say whatever you want to say around friends. Hey, today's my dad's funeral. I'm partying with y'all. Right. But, but, but when... When it's nighttime and you got to go to bed with those thoughts. Yeah. I'm going to ask you privately. Hey, bro, you good? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I really like that. Mm-hmm. So they get to dinner. Uh-oh. Bria asked Jasmine if it was premeditated to have Mariah come to the house. Don't lie now. Is the ticket booked? Don't lie now. <laughs> Jasmine said it's been booked since last night. And Bria asked if it was a no from the house. No, Jasmine says if it was a no from the house, then it would have been canceled. Uh, I don't know about that one. Phil revealed to them that he was going to meet up with Mariah. So Bria knew that it was booked since before last night. It was booked five days ago. Right. Jordan says, well, Phil's not coming to the house. Bria says, if he shows up while we're out, it's not because we invited him out. Just to clarify that with everybody. Mm. Jordan says that the issue though, is that no one considered what Bria was going through when Mariah's flight got booked. Mm. Jasmine said it was an economic choice. And if they didn't, um, if they didn't want that, then the flight would have been canceled. Okay. 
Summer wants to acknowledge that Jasmine called the house meeting to at least discuss having the conversation about guests. Mm -hmm. But Bria and Jordan are telling her, basically, that's not the point. And Summer gets offended and says, you know what, y'all? It's not even that deep. I Mm. don't even know why y'all are that upset. And Mm. Bria and Shanice say it actually is that deep. Okay. Jasmine did what she needed to do for Mariah to make her friend feel supported. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, Mariah Mariah didn't do what she did in the toilet. mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe it's just, I understand the principle of the rule. Yeah. So, So, don't get me wrong. I understand, like, okay, hey, what's the point of having this house meeting, to your point, Blair, that, that, that we was talking about watching the show? Why are you making me feel like I have, like, executive power over this, where really you already made a decision for me? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it comes across that you're lying, because yeah. having Phil reveal the situation, then it's just like, okay, you were playing me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's just kind of hard to take up for Phil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it was two equal people, then cool. But I'm saying just because the person is someone that we don't like and don't agree with, it doesn't take away the fact that you wasn't completely transparent and honest in the house guest meeting. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So Amir asks if Shanice is willing to talk to Summer about their issues. That was interesting. Pivot. Yeah, well, Shanice felt triggered because she lost her job. Mm. She always feels like there is tension between her and Summer. Mm-hmm. Summer says that she's never felt tension with Shanice. Summer says that Shanice has a great body and it wasn't her intent to hurt her. Uh, Shanice appreciates the apology, says we can move on, we can party. Okay, let's, you know, have a great time. Yeah, Shanice, I'm worried about you. Um, because even through this whole um, conversation, you wasn't being completely honest and you was kind of downplaying um, your emotions while at the same time expressing them. Yeah. It, it was kind of interesting and kind of conflicting to watch. Like, even when it was your time to speak, you like, oh, my, my brain is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and then when, even when you was expressing how you felt, you downplayed it immediately before you got a response as if you was like, kind of like just preparing yourself for someone to like dismiss your feelings. You already dismissed it. Before the person even got a, a, a an opinion about it. She basically like, yeah, you know, you you said I couldn't dress and it made me feel bad and things like that. But, you know, I came back downstairs and I turned up to Afrobeats. I'm like, oh, what happened here? Did you right. just have the whole conversation by yourself to yourself? So um, I think Summer to basically deflect and to basically make it seem like, um, like, hey, you got the best body here. But, but that wasn't the question. You yeah, know what I'm saying? and then why are you putting out other people now? I'm exactly. just like summer. Like it, summer's a little bit off. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like no, like summer as as a true friend. Now, granted, drinks was flowing, so who knows what was going on? Um, use that moment to just say I'm sorry. Sometimes, just because someone say to you a long paragraph, five sentences, eight sentences, the best sentence is one sentence. I apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry, and that's all summer had to say. Right. Well, Bria is heading home because she's not feeling everybody right now. Oh, yeah. So Nick walks her to the car. Mm -hmm. Summer asks if she was wrong for how she talks to Jordan Mm. because Jordan snapped at Summer a little bit um, when she spoke up when uh, she was talking about we should acknowledge Jasmine for having this guest conversation Mm. when clearly that wasn't the point. It wasn't the point. And Preston says, you know, y'all both raise your voices at each other, but Summer feels that Jordan is just allowed to be mean. Mm -hmm. And Preston tells her, like, I mean, certain things we expect from certain people. So we kind of expect Jordan to pop off a little bit. That's actually true. So even though it may not be right, I mean, we just feel like we know the different people's personalities and how they're going to act. Yeah. So. And your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that, I don't know. I feel like people were just starting to get drunk and yeah. get emotional. This is where <laughs> this is where the drink started flowing. Yeah, that yeah. that's pretty much all I thought. Because honestly, like, yeah, Jordan popped off at her a little bit, but it to me it wasn't enough like for a deep conversation no. or even an introspective moment. I'm just like Jordan's uh, Jordan spaz and oh, I don't think that's the right word to use anymore. But Jordan is like on one at the moment. And Summer, just relax. Yeah. So like, yeah. At most if, and, and there's nothing wrong with that word today. Okay. Um, um, if Jordan is 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 spazzing as 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 that's a perfect word to say, it's in my right if we're friends to be like, okay, girl, relax, dang. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like like that's all you have to say. It don't take for a come to Jesus moment. Yeah. It just comes to like, hey, watch how you talk to me, and then just go back to doing 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 whatever you're doing. You know? Yeah. So Alex is talking to some girl when they get to the club. Uh oh, Alex. And Noel is feeling away because he is flirting. Mm. Next, Noelle and Alex, they have a talk. A one-to-one, oh boy. Noelle admits that she's feeling him. Mm. Alex knows that, but he is enjoying getting to know Noelle. Mm-hmm. 
and pretty much is just like a new person to the group. And, yeah. you know, he doesn't even say like on a relationship level. Mm. Noelle says that she can get territorial territorial but she knows that she was acting single yesterday too when Mm -hmm. it came to hendrix she still wants alex to think of her as someone who can be an interest Mm. alex says that he's been in situations where people have set unrealistic expectations for him Mm -hmm. and noelle is like just like i'm doing now and he said yeah Mm. (laughs) so noelle says she felt really embarrassed and she was just kind of over it by that point she said she was putting herself out there based off of what some of the other housemates said that she should be doing. Listen here, I felt so bad for Alex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, poor Alex, because <laughs> you're sitting down. Number one, you're drunk. You know what? I'm a little lifted myself. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And she hits me with the, you probably don't know I like you. Okay. <laughs> like, like, and so you put me in a position that to where I only can accept or deny. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And now, like, you feel embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, poor Alex. Yeah. Because now it's almost as if he was in a relationship without knowing he was in a relationship. And there was expectations for him to do things or to act a certain way that he didn't know. Yeah. (laughs) You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, Alex can't win for losing or lose for winning, whatever it is. But um, to me, it was funny. Yeah. It was funny. And I think in the next episode, if I was the guest, then you go have another conversation with Noel. be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because look, at, at this point, I was like, oh yeah, they drunk drunk. Yeah. They drunk drunk. Yeah. I just felt everybody was just getting in their feels. Yeah. So Jordan, um, on their way back uh, from the club to the house, yeah. Jordan wants to talk to Summer. She doesn't understand why Summer was turning up at the table. Mm-hmm. Summer asked Preston to chime in because basically Summer's like, I can't get a word in. Mm-hmm. Like Jordan is just going off on me. And Preston says, it just doesn't sound like y'all are hearing each other. Mm. And that's where we end. Your thoughts? Yeah, I, I didn't think much of it. I was just like, everybody's drunk. Like, go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is not the time for no deep conversations. Like, yes, you popped off a little bit. Yes, you had sounded like you had a little bit of an attitude. Yeah. Um, maybe y'all were already turned a little bit. So you were a little bit on edge. Who knows? But I'm just like, y'all just go to bed. Yeah. That's pretty much how I felt about it. I'm going to tell you this. I think mm-hmm. Jordan's from the streets of Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I will say this. A, even if you ask me a question, don't yell at me. Like, and I understand, like, Preston said, hey, you kind of know what to expect from certain people. Like, Jordan's the yeller. Jordan's going to get in your face. Jordan's going to express herself. Well, you go, you're also... A mature adult. Yeah. And guess what? When it comes to when you want to get paid for for those shoots you do because she's a DJ. Um, she's also, I think she modeled at one point and things of that nature. You ain't yelling at those folks and things mm-hmm. of that nature. You ain't yelling at the people that pay you. So, and and these are relationships that you choose to have when mm-hmm. it comes to friendship. Yeah. So, I'm like, even if you feel like I did something wrong in the sense of like I turned up or I tried to change change the subject to where the subject wasn't uh, what y'all was talking about, don't yell at me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because then that's how I end up saying something while I'm drunk that take it to a whole nother issue. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Now, because Summer, I'm like, you got to be careful with people like Summer now because watch how I'm about to link it. Summer knew Shanice didn't have a job. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Summer knew that, like, you know, her situation, and she said the girl can't dress. Right? I'm just saying, you're going through whatever you're going through with your alopecia thing. You don't want nobody to hit you below the belt. Yeah. Right? And some seem like the type of person that will throw the rock and hide a hand. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And Jordan, I'm not putting it past you either. You could be nicer. Okay? God, God, <laughs> you know I mean? that's, all, that's all I'm saying. Be nicer. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to the show? No, I mean, it, I felt like it was a good it's episode. A, it was a good watch. Yeah. It's definitely a good watch. I'm enjoying... Mm-hmm watching this season and catching up with season one as well in the comments below make sure y'all uh over in the comments below let let me know um your thoughts let blair know your thoughts and subscribe like share comment all the above anything else that's it y'all be good bye